What's happening, man? It's Dominique Trap Franson, and you watching Two School Sports. Wow! Na 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 na! Boom! <laughs> All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with Dominique Trap Francis, one of South Florida's very own. What's up, champ? There we go. What's up, man? How you doing? Long time no speak. Yeah, long time. Too long. Yeah, way too, too long. long. Way too long. Yeah, As y'all know, man. Wow! Na 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 na! <laughs> you know what it is when you hear my sound, man. Yeah. Let's get to it. What does that even mean? I, 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 I mean, it's, you say that, but I don't know what it it's means. It's just like it's just uniqueness. When I come in, I'm loud. I come into the game with noise, and I'm gonna leave with noise. I'm gonna leave with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Na 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 na. <laughs> so you know, and it's catchy. You know what I'm saying? So, it is catchy. And it's me. I be saying that around the house sometimes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, uh, what what's new with your career? Like, uh, what do you have planned? Oh, uh, next fight is next month on the 25th. Yeah. Bad promotion. Shout out to Bad Promotion. Appreciate y'all for hitting me up. But uh, that's the next thing going on. And you know, as this COVID going around, everything shut down. Everything is slow. Uh, we were right now. I'd have been on like 11 fights right now. I'm still on seven. About to have my eighth. But we still training, staying optimistic. You know what I mean? And staying level headed. And that's it. Just working hard. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, well, I, I was actually doing some research on you before I came to the gym yeah. yesterday. I don't know. You fought. Um, you fought Mark Castro in the amateurs. I fought Mark Castro three times. Yeah, I, Mark I, Castro. I fought you three times, <laughs> and they took two from me, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but Mark Castro, real tough competitor. Um, nonstop punches. You know, um, got a lot of experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, humble guy. You know, I love. I, I respect him and his father. You know, but still, like I say, they took two from me. Yeah, yeah. I'm, all, I'm always gunning for you. You gotta boy. get it back in the I'm pros. I'm always gunning for you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my guy. Man. Yeah. Yeah. No, I know when you the fight I watched. I can't. Remember, I don't know which fight it was uh -huh. that you guys had. I think it was at the JL Nationals. Yeah, I, think. I know. I fought him there. Yeah. Yeah, I fought him at the JL yeah. Nationals. Yeah, it like seemed like. 2017. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I ran out of gas. Yeah, you ran out of gas. <laughs> he was the more consistent fighter. Like you, when you punched them, they were eye catching shots. He just, and, and, and oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I hit Mark. Everybody, when you hit him, everybody, oh yeah, everybody, wow. Oh yeah. But he just kept pressing just you the whole coming, fight. Mark just keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. You know, when I think about it now, even though there was L's, it's a good memory for me, man. Yeah. Because it, it's learning, it's learning experience. You know, it's learning experience, and like I said, he a good guy. He just doing what he's supposed to do. And yeah. that's all it is. No hard feelings towards him Absolutely. at all. You know, I take my, my L's on the chin just like I take my W's. Exactly. You sound like that. Uh, Josh Greer said that recently. Oh, the, oh, the guy with his long. Yeah, oh, Josh yeah, Greer just yeah, said that oh, yeah, the same yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but I don't know what he had going on. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, yeah. I've seen him fight a couple times, too. He's yeah, pretty yeah. nice, man. Shout out to you, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe that's a fight with Mark Cash. You can get in the pros. Yeah, like, may yeah, maybe. I, you know, I'm gonna for anything, man. You know, uh, when you want to be the best, you gotta go against the best. And the amateurs, I already fought the best. I beat the best, and then my best. My... Who are some other notable names being the beating the amateurs? Uh, man, I beat um so much goddamn people. Shit, you know, I can't even remember my goddamn. All right, let's go to the nationals. I can't remember the name, yo. Okay, well, if it comes back to you, if it comes name, back to yo. you in the interview, you just cut me off and just tell me. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, but um, okay. you were saying earlier when you were training there, you said you said you're pound for pound. You, you have a lot of confidence by yourself. That, that's the one thing I really like about you is like, because I talked to a lot of fighters, yeah. and they don't, they, they sound like they're trying to convince themselves. Yeah, you can't but, do But that. you really sound like you, you believe. you got to be that. Since I first started boxing, my first, like, my first year, and I wasn't even a year in, I had someone on his name. The fighter name is Kayvon. His father used to always call me pound for pound. He thought I was boxing um, previous before I came to the gym. I was like, nah, I just started boxing. I ain't even really like two months in. <laughs> they called me pound for pound. And um, what they about me, I'm, I'm confident because uh, you don't believe, ain't nobody going to believe in you as much as you're going to believe in yourself. This is a boxing, a one-man sport. If you take that L, you got to wear it. And if you take that W, go ahead and wear it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it with yourself and your team. You know, you put in that work, your team put in that work. You feel like you're the best, then be the best. Go out there and perform, you know. You train so hard in the gym, don't nobody know what it feel like to take these punches. Yeah. Nobody feel it, know what it feel like to uh, um, drop this weight, be away from your family. Uh, you know what I mean? That sacrifice, losing, yeah. losing time away. Some fighters be having relationship problems because of boxing. Exactly. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, you gotta have that confidence in that man. You never know if you're gonna step in that ring and make it out. You know, so I'd be like, shit, I'm I'm the best of, I'm the best of the best, you know? And if you wanna prove me wrong, just prove me wrong. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. it. Um have you have you have you sparred anybody else since the last time I saw you, like any notable names like Oh, uh, I gotta ask Derek what this guy name but, is, man. He's a he's a professional. He said he was um 16, 16 and one. He was getting ready to fight on the um I believe the PBC car. I, he's like Dominican. 
Uh, oh, Mitchell. Well, it's not Mitchell he's Rivera. Kind of, he's kind of like he's kind of like tall. He's kind of like tall, and um, I believe he fight like one one thirty something like that. Ha- oh, no, it's not Javier Fortuna, is it? It's not I, Javier I, Fortuna. I don't know his name, but uh, he's he's kind of lanky, you know, long. Uh, seventeen and one, man. I think he he won the fight. It was a tough fight. Okay. Uh, you probably know the guy I'm talking about. I probably I, I, I'm 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 bad with names. Yeah, yeah. I, I Most fighters are, man. Yeah, Every I'm time I ask fighters who this, man. I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't I, know. I, 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 I never know these guys' name, man. But you know. It is what it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Showtime, Sean Porter. This is Eros Mandrain. Everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. You're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned.